What's going on with y'all, man? Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Now, I'm eating right now, so I don't want you guys to see the food and all that. But, um, hope all is well out here with all of you guys. Now, last night was very weird. It was a very weird game. Um, the Ravens were getting calls. that bailed them out a few times. The Bengals got some calls, but the Bengals, like I said, are being exposed. I told you guys, they're not making the playoffs this year. Because the Steelers, Ravens, well, the Browns, I had them winning it, but Deshaun's gone for the year, so they could still make the playoffs. I think their team is better than the Bengals right now. Jamar Chase is unhappy because he feels like he's open every play when he's not. Um, the ball, that 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 flag that was thrown on, on, on the play with Zay Flowers, that wasn't an interference. That should not have been called. That was a bailout call. Lamar Jackson was nicked up last night, and this is the reason why we're not sold on the Ravens, because we don't know if number eight can stay healthy for the whole year, because it's still number eight or bust. Now, they gave Mitchell a lot of touches, and Gus Edwards has just been awesome. Justice Hill... Did some things as well, coming in and switching up the pace from both backs. Now, defensively, the front four did a great job. Number 99, I can't think of his name. He has been destroying it. He's the reason the Ravens' front four is very tough. Now, cause of concern for the Ravens is when the Bengals finally ran the ball with Joe Mixon, they featured Joe, they've been featuring Joe Mixon a lot which has really been paying off because it's been opening up the passing game. It's just unfortunate Joe Burrow got hurt, but Joe Burrow came in the game hurt. They had a um, they had a video of him with some contraption on his right hand. They have since then taken the video down. Cincinnati has taken the video down on their site, which is, which I was like, which I was like, are you serious? Like, what are you taking it down for? Why are we taking it down? Because I believe Joe Burrow he messed his hand up against the Houston Texans last week. And when he did that he wasn't a hundred percent. But I don't hear Brady Quinn. I don't hear LeVar Arrington. I don't hear Rob Parker or none of them bums calling Joe Burrow a rich baby or wealthy baby, whatever you call it. All you hear is concerned about is Joe Burrow okay. When Sean Watson has been going through far worse with criticism and, of course, injury. But, like I told you guys, as long as you're white, everything's right.
The Ravens' offensive line is also a cause of concern. There were a lot of times if it wasn't for Lamar's legs, the Ravens would have been in trouble. Now, the portion or the problem that I see is can they close? Defensively, the Ravens down the stretch in the fourth quarter, they struggle to close games. They just do. They're a team who struggles. They're a team that struggles. They're a team who you try to root for, but you don't know if they're going to get it done. You don't know if they're going to get it done. Now, the Bengals, their backup quarterback's not bad. He'll be okay until they can get Joe back, but we don't even know if Joe's going to play. You know, they might sit Joe down for the next two weeks. Higgins was out again due to injury. Sorry about that, guys. Now, the Ravens, do I think they can win the division? We don't know. The Ravens don't match up well against the Steelers. The Steelers have gave them problems all the time. Now, the Ravens are going to have a tough schedule after this bye week. After next, after the week after next, they got a bye week. And they're going to get some teams. They got San Fran and they got somebody else. That's tough. So we're going to see how mentally they could do it. Like I said, if the Ravens know how to close, they'll win the Super Bowl. I'm dead serious. I am dead as serious. Lamar Jackson out of 70 to 75 scoring plays Lamar Jackson has been the main reason the Ravens score he's their offense Odell Beckham um, got hurt a little bit nicked up but he's starting to come alive at the right time and this is what I was trying to tell people the difference between him and Baker Mayfield is that he gets Odell the ball. He gives him the ball. Sometimes he'll force feed him because he doesn't want to lose Odell mentally. And it pays off. It pays off big time. Now, now, what are we going to do now? Are they going to win it all? K. 
can they clean up some of that mess? I think they can. Rashad Bateman has been playing well. He's been he's been um healthy. Man, he's been balling this year. He's stepping up to be a top receiver. Hello, guys. <laughs> Sorry I was eating, man. If you people probably done turned away from the video by now, but but the thing is the Ravens. They just got to run the ball. Down the stretch in the second half, they ran the ball. They gave it to Mitchell. They gave it to Gus. Lamar ran some spread, um, some spread options. Or quarterback traps. Quarterback um, counters. Quarterback lead. or I mean, excuse me. Quarter, yeah, quarterback lead. Quarterback off tackle. He was, he was moving. This is what they have to do at the end of the game. You got to run the ball because you don't want to be put in a situation where you're depending, you're you're just going away from the run, you're throwing the ball like you did against the Browns, and you lose. Now, everybody going to say, oh, the Bengals, they lost Joe Burrow and everything. Well, Lamar was messed up. They lost Mark Andrews. Y'all keep telling me Mark Andrews is this great tight end. You know, when Lamar really makes him, but... The offense got into trouble. This is why I said that the Ravens should have tried to go after Kyle Pitts or, or after some tight end. Isaiah Likely, I don't know what it is. He's it's like he don't have any confidence. I don't know if that they just they just don't like him. They don't use him. They use his other guy. This is our mother white boy, 88 or something. It's like they don't like Isaiah Likely. Excuse me. I mean, if I'm them, I might move him to wide receiver. <clears throat> but I don't think he can run routes well. So it, it's a whole lot of things that they're they're trying to do. But the Ravens, man, they they just got to learn how to close and run the ball down the stretch. And, and Lamar can't have any turnovers. Lamar can't turn the ball over, man, like he's done in the games they lost. He's got to control the ball. He's got to control the pace of the game. He's got to keep everybody focused. You know, you're the leader of the team. That's period. You're the leader of the team. You're the quarterback. And that's what he has to do. He has to learn how to um, take control of the game. You know, and he's got to learn how to get the man of the huddle commands, not the man, but command of the huddle. And he's done a phenomenal job this year. Um, To me, he's been probably the best player so far. Him, Tyreek, um, A.J. Brown has been on point. He just cries a lot, so that's going to mess his case up because he's always crying, you know. The voters worry about antics more than substance. When they're judging some of these guys, um, I mean, that's all I'm saying. Kyle Hamilton for the Ravens is coming into his own. Roquan and Patrick Queen, um, they might lose Patrick Queen at the end of the year, but Roquan continues to show, man, that he might be the best middle linebacker in the game. Like, the guy's a true middle linebacker. No. So we just got to keep looking. Now, do I think the Ravens are the top team in the AFC? Um, my power ranking for the AFC, my top five. I probably would put um. Probably would go in the AFC. Probably would go um probably would go um Baltimore as a complete team. I think they're the best team in the AFC. 
Um, second, I would probably go um Second, I would go um the Kansas City Chiefs because um their defense has been underrated. I think they might have the top one of the top defenses in the AFC, if not the league. Um they're very underrated. McDuffie's a dog. They got guys um Sneed. Sneed is a dog. I love Sneed. Sneed is physical. Um and then I probably would go Miami. Yeah, I would go Miami. Miami is to me more offensive driven. They're like, like I said, they're the Miami Suns. <laughs> or you could call them the Phoenix Dolphins. You know, I call them the Phoenix Dolphins. Others call them Miami Suns. So we just call them the 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 um the, the um, Miami Suns. That's all they are. You know, fast fast paced offense. If you shut it down, you in trouble. The fourth team I probably would say is um I would give it to the Steelers because the Steelers are grit and grind. They're a grit and grind team. Like they'll fight you. They don't care. They will fight you to the end. Like they've been outgained in everything. Outgained um you know and all of that in yards and all of that stuff per play everything and they continue winning the game because they find a way. That's why I told y'all Mike Tomlin is a great coach. You know, hating ass Trey don't think so, but I'm like, dog, he's a great coach. He's gotten them to two Super Bowls, won one, lost one, and he only lost one because offensive coordinator thought it was smart to put the game in Ben's hands. As you saw a la Rashard Mendenhall explain to y'all how they got to the Super Bowl, which was running the goddamn ball. Now, um, the fifth best team, I'll say the Jaguars, because the Jaguars, when they're on point and they play like they're supposed to play, they're tough to beat. Um, they'll beat you. So that's my top five is the Ravens, Chiefs, um, Dolphins. Steelers and the Jags. You know, the Texans are right there on the cusp. If the Texans can upseat, um, if they can upset and, and push the Jags out the way, then I will put them up there. But I still think the Jags are slightly better because for some reason the Jags they have a game where they just don't play well at all, then they come back and just hit on all cylinders. The NFC, it's kind of the same. You got the Eagles. You got the Eagles. I think um, I got the Lions and the Niners. I think the Eagles, Lions, and Niners, that's the top three in the NFC. Period. <laughs> that's the top three. You know, that's that's it. And then um fourth. Fourth, I would probably put um trying to think. Fourth, I would probably put um fourth, I would probably put the Vikings. I would put the Vikings four, and then five I would put Dallas. Five, I will put Dallas. Well, hold on. When I put them five, when I put the Vikings four, the Vikings still got a long way. So I'll go Dallas four, and then I go to Seahawks five. Vikings are right there though. The Vikings got to keep continually, continuously winning. But right now, I got Eagles, Lions, Niners. Um, Cowboys and Seahawks. That's the top five power rankings of the NFC. So we'll see, man. It, it's gonna be tough. People aren't gonna agree with my shit. 
I don't care. <laughs> it's like whatever. But um, that's all I got. Um, the game last night was good at first, and then it just became bad because Burrow got hurt. Um, the Bengals still have a good defense. Um, they still got a running game. They still got the receivers. Don't count them out. Um, Downing isn't that bad as a quarterback, but I still got them missing the playoffs, but don't count them out. They can mess around and upset some teams to get back in position. They're only two games away from the Steelers and the um, Browns. If the Browns lose this Sunday to the Steelers, then they'll be on um, one loss um, ahead of um, the Bungles. But I still got... I still think I think I mean, it might be just two teams now because the shot hurt, but we'll see. But um, don't count them out. The Ravens they got to keep proving to me. If the Ravens can close and they can stay somewhat healthy, now they're not gonna be all the way healthy because it's football. It's near the end of the season. But if Lamar can get through the regular season, get to the playoffs, and they can minimize their turnovers and they can actually close the game, play on both sides the Ravens will win like I said the Ravens could win it all but thank you for listening make sure you like comment subscribe share this hit the notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications and if you guys do love what you hear you can donate to the page by going to my description box hitting that link to the cash app to donate whatever your heart's desire you also can find me on Zelle um, you could type a number in um, in the description box. There's a number by Zelle. Put that into the search engine and you'll find my account where you could donate. You guys can also super chat me when we go live or premiere video. Um, this video was pre-recorded, so this is going to basically be a, a, premiere, um, a, a, um, a video um, that's premiering and still alive. And um, also, um, make sure you guys um, super thanks. Now, after the video's done, let's say you come late after you watch the video, you could do a super thanks. So, again, thank y'all for y'all love and blessings and support. We are out. Deezy.